On 15th of June, we remember and honor St. Alice of Shkavi, also known as Alice the Leper, who was the Cistercian lay sister. St. Alice was born in the year 1204 in a small village called Shkavi, which was near Brussels. She was sometimes called Alidis, a common form of the name Alice in that time period. She had a very religious upbringing and at the very young age of seven, on her own accord, decided to join a convent. The Camera Sancte Marie convent would be the home of St. Alice from that day on through her entire life until her death in the year 1250. The Camera Sancte Marie was a Cistercian convent. Cistercian monks and nuns were sometimes referred to as the Bernardines or the White Monks. They believed in living a life of manual labor and self-sufficiency. St. Alice fit in well because even at her extremely young age, she was known for being extremely humble and kind. She was influential too and highly admired by the other nuns that she lived with. She led by example, performing her many selfless acts. Sadly, when Alice reached her teenage years, her life took a dramatic turn. St. Alice became stricken with leprosy. This meant that she would now be forced to lead a life of seclusion, as lepers were forced to do due to the highly contagious nature of the disease. This was a terrible fate for a young Alice to face. She loved nothing more than to be around people. She loved to help them and talk with them. She was a leader by example. Now leading a lonely life as an outcast from society, St. Alice would have to figure out how to continue to be that light. The saint remained strong through prayer, which brought her even closer to God. She was comforted by being able to receive the Holy Eucharist, though she could not drink from the cup. The Lord appeared to her and assured her that he was both in the bread and the wine. It was okay that she could not drink from the cup. Alice's suffering did not stop at just leprosy. She was also stricken blind only a year into battling her disease. She later became completely paralyzed as well. At this point, most human beings would be so depressed and struggle with their faith. Anger would be reasonable, but not for St. Alice. She remained positive and faithful. She continued to be comforted by receiving the Holy Eucharist and her visions of God. He came to her, telling her to remain strong in her faith. He assured her that she would be welcomed into the kingdom of heaven, into warm, loving and open arms when the time came. Until then, while on earth, she must remain strong. Her visions became a regular occurrence and she became very spiritual and in touch with the Lord. Through receiving the Eucharist and thinking deeply about her visions, until her dying day in the year 1250. Though she spent her time isolated from others, she remained at the convent and enjoyed a close and special relationship with God. Her strength and faith is an example to us all. She is a special example to the blind and paralyzed. When praying to St. Alice, their patron saint, they remember that heaven is waiting for them and that they must be strong and faithful. St. Alice died on June 11, 1250, and she was canonized in 1907 by Pope Pius X. Her feast is celebrated each year on June 15, and she is the patron saint of the blind and the paralyzed. Placing all our petitions before her today, let us pray. O God, who called your handmaid, Blessed Alice, to seek you before all else, grant that, serving you through her example and intercession, with a pure and humble heart, we may come at last to your eternal glory, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen.